Morning folks, welcome to our weekly communion. Um, we're going to be taking communion together today and this will now become our uh, default communion video for the website. And so you'll be able to see this video each week when you come and take communion together with us. Um, first of all, I'm going to read from Psalm 46 and then Alice is going to share the Lord's Prayer and then we'll take communion together. And I'll go to the uh, communion readings in Corinthians chapter 11. So let me start by reading from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. God of Jacob is our fortress. Hello, church. We're just going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Now, as we come to the time of sharing communion, I'm going to read from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Father, I pray as we take this communion meal together, we are just simply aware of your presence at the table and your invitation to the table. Father, it's a thrill that we are able to share this communion meal with you and that that invitation came from Jesus himself and has passed through the ages to us today. And we are just as strongly invited to this table by Jesus as the disciples were in the New Testament. So thank you for that privilege. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So first we take the bread and we break it and we share it together. And then we share the cup. God bless you. Lord, as we've shared this communion together, Lord, we thank you that even across the miles, we can be unified by you, by your spirit, one body, one church. Lord, we just thank you for your love for us. We thank you that as we've taken this communion, it's a celebration of your love, your body broken, your blood shed for the forgiveness of our sins so that we could be reunited with God through Jesus and with one another in the church. And Lord, I just thank you for the one another's Lord. I thank you for everyone who's watching this and shared this communion with us today. And I pray that as they've done that, Lord, your blessing would be there for them, the Holy Spirit's empowerment and presence. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you have a, a really good week this week. I pray that your life is filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit and empowered by Him. And I pray that you're able to experience true fellowship with God, but with other people too. Because I think that the attitude of heart where the Holy Spirit is, is more than just physical presence in the same room. 
It can be expressed in the way that you think about people and certainly the way that you speak to them over the phone or whatever else. So I pray that this week you will have peace. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye.